Good morning guys. I'm rushing because I need to go see a client this morning. Uh, my hair is still wet. But I'm rushing because I just wanted to show you how I feed my little baby. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I take the carrot and I just slice it like obviously like this with this awesome slicer from Ikea and so I slice it so that my little Trixie the lizard can eat this it's the perfect size for her to eat and also when I can't slide it anymore I give the rest to I'll show you my little Gigi she eats this here mama she loves carrots Pablo doesn't like carrots she eats everything. Whatever you give her, she'll eat. Pablo's more finicky than she is. So my kids just went with their dad somewhere. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to go see a client. And I feel so bad because I was supposed to go yesterday, but I totally forgot. And her daughter calls me because this lady, she's like 94. And she's about to pass away. She's the sweetest, sweetest lady, and her family's just so sweet. They're just a bunch of sweet people, and I feel bad because the daughter has is taking care of her. She's living at her house and everything, and the last time I went there, I felt kind of awkward, but it's not anyone's fault, but the, the poor mom was so tired. She didn't want me to do her hair, and her daughter was like, but you're going to be beautiful, mom, and all that stuff, and um... Because I go there every couple of weeks to do a set on her hair. And she's like, I'm tired, I'm tired, I just want to go to sleep. I felt so bad. First I felt bad for being there. So I was like, well, I don't mind coming back another day. But she said something that was right. It doesn't matter if you come back another day. It's, she's always going to be kind of that way. And it's no offense to me. Obviously I don't take offense because it's not her fault. She doesn't want to get her hair done, you know. I just feel bad. I love that lady. She's the sweetest lady. She is such a sweetheart. She's always been sweet to me. She has, um, when I slice a little bit of this apple, because my little guy likes it too. My little girl, Trixie, likes it. The lizard, just a little bit. So, um, when she was okay, she has Alzheimer's. So, whenever she'd tell me a story, it was really cute. I would hear it like five times in a row, the same story. Yeah, my dad used to be a teacher and he used to teach us and blah, 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 blah. And it was really cute. And then like two seconds would pass and she would say, yeah, my dad, he's a fourth grade teacher. The same story. It was so sweet. And then, um, what else? Um, she would say that and then... That was my point for the story. Um, see, I'm getting ridiculously. My brain is like, mm. uh, oh, she'll be like, are we doing? Are we doing? Did we do? A, did we do a haircut? I'm like, yeah, we did a haircut. And then two seconds later, she'd be like, did we do a haircut? So cute. So I don't know. Just enjoy your grandmas while you have them because we're all going to be in that stage, and we we all need to enjoy our families while they're here. So I'm going to go feed the. My little Trixie. Let's go. You guys, I'm so mad. I was videoing with my Sony camera, and when I put it on here, um, it sounds like this. I have no idea what to do. So now I know it's not my phone, because my phone does the same thing. I'm just kind of, um, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to call Sony or call the iPhone, do a little bit of searching online to see what I can do, why is this happening, and this couldn't happen at a worse time, because as you can tell, there's something wrong with my voice at the same time. So... Basically, what I'm telling you here is uh, I was watching Blondes 
doll for MJ, um, something like that. But it's a girl, her name is Trisha Paytas, and she did a really, really funny video today about casting calls. Now, her humor is rather adult humor, so, um, you know, if you're an adult, then you might find it funny. Now, some of, most of, some of the things that she talks about is controversial. So, um, you know, some of the things sometimes I watch and sometimes I just change the channel. I'm not the type of person that has to sit there and say, oh, I don't like this. Oh, li, li, li. I'm not like that. If I don't like something, something, I'll just click away. But anyways, so that's what I'm talking about here, and I'm just talking about that pretty much, and I'm telling you that I'm also going to my client's house right here, and so you know what? When I was making that face, that's when I was talking, saying, I'm not going to leave a nasty message. <laughs> that's funny. So I'm trying to think, what else was I saying there? Um... I think I was telling you about my client, and at the video, I finished telling you about my client, but I was explaining how I'm kind of nervous about going there because the time that I went there before, two weeks ago, she was, um, she's an elderly lady, and I really love her so much, um, but she didn't really want to get her hair done, so I was somewhat worried about coming this time. But I'm very happy that I did because I'll tell you why at the end. And so basically I'm going to have to go through this whole vlog doing a voiceover and showing you what I did. So I hope you guys enjoy the hilariousness that this is. I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, so here we are coming into my mom's house, and I'm videoing my son and Pablo, and that's Marley, the bigger dog. Um, that's my brother's dog. Anyhow, I'm coming in the house. There's Pablo. Look how excited he is to see us. If you don't know, Pablo was away for a week in North Carolina with my mom and my little niece. So look how excited he is to see us. And of course, my little boy has to pick him up. I was trying to video him, but he kept moving so much that it was difficult. And Marley kept coming, of course. I love Marley, too. So I was here trying to say hello to my Pablo. So that's what I was doing here. Okay, here I wanted to video Gigi and Pablo's homecoming. So I'm... Putting Gigi on the floor um, down here, and Pablo's in the bag right there. So Gigi's going to run to him, and there she goes. Oh, she recognizes Pablo. Wow, look at her tail. She's so happy. Pablo's happy too. She's trying to get in there. There's already a hole in there from Pablo putting his nose out, sticking his nose out. Okay, so here's Pablo and Gigi's homecoming. They miss each other so much. Look at their tail wagging. But she bugs him so much, but she can't help it. She's a little puppy, and he's a little bit older. He's only five, but in dog years, that's a lot. So, you can tell they miss each other. They're so cute. Hmm. I wish I never got Pablo fixed because I feel like they would make really cute puppies. He's not that old. He's the older man. She's the younger woman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's that. Stay tuned for more. Okay, here I just wanted to show you how me and my Little babies like to run around in circles and chase each other. Here comes Gigi. She likes to nip at us while she while we're running around. That's the only downfall. She's a little biter. So I have to get her to stop doing that. But she's just a little puppy. So 
She doesn't mean any harm. She gets really wild. She's so funny. She's a ball of energy, that's for sure. Here's my little guy, cute as always, always playing. He's so sweet. I love him so much. He's so, such a silly little buddy. I forgot what he's saying, but he's funny. We have a game where I say, wrinkle pits, wrinkle pits, I want to see your wrinkle pits. And he um, puts up his arms and I tickle him, but I have to catch him first. Here's where he's saying, wrinkle butt, wrinkle butt. He's so silly, he's always joking around. So I'm just kicking him in his butt. But I really like to call him wrinkle pits. He has the cutest little armpits, it's so funny. And I love to tickle my kids. gonna tell ghost stories. I'm just kidding. I'm not even gonna joke about that. Um, I just wanted to say goodnight because I'm closing up my day and I want to quickly get to tonight's video out and I hope you can hear me. Little boy sleep talking. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you what happened with my client. <clears throat> when, I went, <clears throat> when I went to see her, she was telling me, I'm so sorry about my voice. When I went to see my client and I was talking to her, we make, you know, we talk to each other. I'm like, do you like music? She said, sometimes. But I prefer peace and quiet. I'm like, yeah, I like peace and quiet too. Because I heard that music can help. Um, they had a study where this older guy, um, he was like this. And the second they played music on headphones and put it on his ears, he was like, ah. I thought that maybe music would be good for her too, but she likes the peace and quiet. So, the last time I went to her house, she was so tired. I felt so bad because she didn't want me to do her hair. She wanted to just lay down and go to sleep. But her daughter was like, come on, mom, you know. Sandy's going to make you beautiful. And um, she's like, I'm so tired. And I felt so bad. I'm like, I can come back. She's like, no, because, you know, we never know. It might be like that next time, too. So just do it. So I had to do her hair when she was laying down in bed. Well, um, I did it really fast. And then I said, okay, good night. I mean, bye. And I left. Um, well, today. She was, she just got up from her nap, so she wasn't tired. She was so, she's always really sweet, never just a sweet person. And when I was leaving, she's like, I just wanted to thank you so, so much for coming to see me. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate what you do and you coming to do my hair. I, I just thank you so much. I was almost starting to cry because just the genuine sincerity in her saying thank you to me, it was really sweet. It made it, it made my day, really. That made my day. Hearing how she's happy and that I made her feel good by coming. That was really, really a good feeling. And that's, that's one thing I like about my job is making people feel good about themselves and look good at the same time. So I love being a hairstylist. I also love that I took psychology and I can understand people better. I've learned so much. I've always been, I guess, a people person.
because I've always worked with people and been with people, but I'm just so happy that I'm a people person. And one other thing I can say is I'm not a talker, really. I might, I might seem like I'm a talker because I have a channel and I talk and stuff, but when I'm conversing with people, I'm the silent one, and I'd rather the other person do all the talking. I love to hear people talk, basically. So, anyways, I'm about to fall asleep, so I'm going to hurry up and just put this all together. I'm probably going to end up doing the nail tutorial. How I did my nails, that video tomorrow, because I'm too tired. But I want to get the vag out tonight. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so I'm sorry if that was inappropriate. I was only kidding though. Alright, so I hope you guys have a great Saturday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night.